Hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines, and welcome to the channel. So in this video, I want to share with you a recent discovery. It's actually a new modifier that I have been using, and it's fast becoming one of my go-to modifiers for portrait photography. In fact, it is the modifier that is lighting me up right now. So before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, now is the perfect time to do so because I am still giving away a beautiful backdrop from Kate Backdrop. It is a 1.5 by 2 meters, non-reflective, dual-sided, collapsible backdrop. And to win it, it's going to be very, very simple. I will just leave the mechanics in the description below. Okay, so what is this modifier that I am talking about? This is it. This is the Nanlite Lantern 60. Now, before we get into why I am loving this modifier so much, I want to show you the set. So I actually made an effort today to create a beautiful set for you guys to make things different, right? Plus, Coco put together a fantastic outfit and I just wanted to give justice to what she was wearing. So what do we have here? I actually have two 5x7 hand-painted canvas backdrops, also from Kate Backdrop, that I just put together using my auto poles, and I have it here being held up by just an ordinary light stand. And I found a few of these luggages in our storeroom, and so with this carpet, and just putting it together. But the most important thing that I pre-visualized with this one is I wanted more or less all the colors to be in the same color family. I wanted everything brown because as you will see, Coco is actually wearing red, so she's just gonna pop up from the backdrop and the focus will just be on her. Now let's get to the light. I am using the Nanlite Forza 60 LED light. It's a beautiful, beautiful compact LED light that's 5600 Kelvin. This is the non-bicolor version. And I have here the Nanlite Lantern 60. Why do I love this modifier so much? Because it gives me the look of an umbrella. And if you guys have seen some of my recent videos, I've been showing you how a shoot-through umbrella really gives fantastic, beautiful, soft light. This Nanlite Lantern 60 actually gives more or less the same quality of light of that of a shoot-through umbrella, which is beautifully soft, but we have a lot of control. The first control, of course, is this black backing. By having a black backing, you can remove all the spill of the light that's spilling towards the back. In other words, your light can be directional, but at the same time, you're controlling all the spill around. Now, there is a modifier that can modify this modifier, and I will show you guys that later. But basically, this light is used for what we call practical lighting. In other words, this one just really lights up the scene evenly without any harsh shadows. Normally, if we were to shoot with this um, together with another light, we would have this light to be one stop underexposed just to be able to create a nice overall mood light to your scene, then have a main light or a kicker light, which is the one that's properly exposed, just highlighting the subject. But this light in itself is already fantastic as your key light. And that is what I want to show you guys today. So I think it's time for me to call in my wife. Babe, come in. Hi, babe. You look fantastic today. I really, I, I was telling the guys earlier that you put together a fantastic outfit and I'm loving it. It's actually made by our friend. Her name is Micah Limchok. You could check out her collection at shop.micah.limchok, correct? Or I'll just put everything in the description below, okay? So let's start shooting. All right, so the camera that I'm using now is my Sony A7R Mark IV and the lens that I have on is a 24 to 70 2.8 GM. Now the reason why I'm using a set 24 to 70 today is because I'll probably zoom in and zoom out also. So I wanna shoot tight and wide, so I want to have the versatility without having to change my lens. Also the fact that this is a G Master is just gonna give me fantastic images anyway. I am also showing you a live view of what my camera is seeing through the help of my Hollyland Mars 400S Pro transmitter, which is right here. It's transmitting a Wi-Fi signal to my phone and I am actually recording on my phone. So everything that you're seeing now 
is SOC or straight out of the camera unless specified otherwise. So sometimes I might show you the final output as straight out of camera or I might show you a processed image in which I will specify that that was a processed image. So I would approach this shoot the same way as I would if I were using a strobe. In other words, I will set first my camera for the existing ambient light. So what will I do first? Basically, I will turn off the light here. I, it has a remote so I can turn it off. Now, as you can see, I am hardly getting any light coming from my existing ambient light, but you could still see portions of Coco's legs. So I will probably maybe bring down my ISO to 200 there. So now you can see that my existing ambient light now is not affecting my image. So let me just define this properly. When I, ref when I say ambient light, it is the light that's in existence in the scene wherein I am shooting. Artificial light, whether it be continuous light or flash, is the light that I introduce to the scene that I can control. So now that I've set my existing ambient light to how I want it to be, in other words, I want to remove it, I will now turn on my continuous light. Now, the nice thing about it, I won't touch my settings anymore in camera. I will just use my remote to dial in the power that I want to give me the proper exposure. So right now it's about, mm, this is 80% power. Maybe I'll make it about 90, 90% power. There we go, 90% power, fantastic, love it. All right, so lastly, let's set my white balance. This Nanlite Forza 60 is rated at 5600 Kelvin, so I can set my white balance, as you can see, as 5600 Kelvin. Though I've discussed it before in some of my previous videos, white balance is really subjective. And for this scene, I think I want to go warmer. So instead of going to the natural 5600 Kelvin, I will go to about 6000 Kelvin, all right? Okay, perfect. I think we're still a bit underexposed. I will now make it 100%. All right, there we go. Okay, so let's start shooting. Beautiful, babe. Can you point? Can you point your feet towards me there? Perfect. Then lean towards your right side and then put your hand towards your chin. Beautiful. I love that. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, that was beautiful, babe. But I have my light set from above. In other words, I want to give that look of a bare bulb, but a very nice soft bare bulb. Now the problem with having light from above like this is that you're gonna get some shadows underneath her chin. So the way to be able to solve that is we have a reflector here. Now, the nice thing about using continuous light is that you can see what the light is actually doing now. Can we get into the post, please? So I want to remove move the, the light from the chin, uh, from underneath the chin, the shadows, I mean, from underneath the chin. So maybe I, this time I will use the silver side there. There we go. Very nice. All right. Okay, babe. Beautiful. One more. Chin towards here. I tilt your head this way. Nice. Very nice. All right. Beautiful. Now, as I said earlier, this thing comes with a modifier to modify the modifier, and it comes with flags. So one thing with this particular scene that's bothering me a bit is that this light, of course, spills all over the place. In other words, it's going to hit this part, it's going to hit that part. This is the part that's hitting the reflector to go back to her face. But what if I want this background darker? Therefore, I can have flags. This modifier comes with flags in order for me to direct the light where I want it to hit. In other words, if I want to make the background a bit darker, I can. And this is, that's exactly what we're going to be doing now here but not too dark there beautiful oh that's such a big difference already it made it more dramatic love it i love it all right same pose please nice or you could bring it down now bring it down your hand down yes that's it that's perfect
All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. One more. So of course, a special shout out also to our makeup artist, Mela Jimenez, who helped Coco do her makeup virtually. If not for her, we wouldn't have been able to do this series. So don't you think those images are so beautiful? Please do let me know in the comment section below. And to be honest, we haven't even delved into the potential of what this modifier can do. I actually have a secondary layout that we will be shooting right after this and I think I will make another video just for that so that this one doesn't become too long. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget that if you want to win that beautiful backdrop by Kate Backdrop, just follow the mechanics in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that the moment I upload that new video, you do get notified. So click that notification bell. And if you want to see more of my images, you can always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, so till the next video.